Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Trude, and welcome to Fallout 4, the great sunken treasure hunt, because uh, I'm going to be honest, I need one more week to finish Fallout 4 is better than you think, part 2, because, uh, yeah, those essays always sort of uh, get away from me a bit, they're always twice as long as I expect they're going to be, but it's going to be flipping worth it, don't you worry, but that gives me an excellent opportunity to do something I've always actually wanted to do anyway, which is... Uh, we all know that Aqua Boy is one of the best perks in the game. It's amazing and 100% will be taking advantage of it in the upcoming You Only Live Once run. And that got me to thinking, just how good exactly are we talking about here? How much stuff is out there in the world up for grabs if you're willing to do, you know, just a bit of underwater exploration? So, say hello to Captain John. Now, officially, of course, she is a lawyer, but let's be honest, that's just what pays the bills, pays for the robot and his fuel, all of that good stuff. No, no, no. Her real passion is underwater diving. And of course it is. Why else would you insist on buying a house that's literally on a tiny island? Like, you know, the flood risk must be ridiculous. The house insurance through the roof. You'd only do that if you were super into diving. So... Okay, what we're going to be needing is uh, all the endurance in the world, uh, because, you know, it gets a bit cold and nasty down in the depths sometime. And on top of that, maybe we'll take a giant pile of agility too, because there's quite a lot of open wards to cover. So, you know, a bit of sprint swimming would be welcome. And as for the rest of it, perception. We need just enough to get a bit of lock picking going on, because you know what? Some sunken treasure's gonna be locked. And as for the rest of it, luck, charisma, intelligence, no, we don't need any of that. This is all absolutely fine. Right, one apocalypse. Later, everybody's dead. I think my husband's been killed and my baby's missing. I'm not sure. Captain John doesn't care because as far as Captain John's concerned, uh, you know what? No more late night feedings. Uh, no more long days at the office. No more having to, you know, spend time with the husband. Uh, from now on, I can just spend all day every day engaging in deep sea diving and treasure hunting and that just sounds mag flipping nificent so okay let's flip and go because we got ourselves a tiny bit of setup to do first step one just knock out enough posts to push yourself up to level three that's the basics of what we need for all of this because that gets us one aqua girl and two locksmith so now we can open up basic and advanced locks and on top of that yes indeed immediately we can just swim, breathe underwater, no rads, basically infinite underwater freebies. Absolutely flipping love it. So uh, from now on, what we're going to try and do is, uh, yeah, get to water as fast as possible and then see how bloody rich we can get just from doing a bit of exploring. And uh, yeah, I've got one other fun little twist for this as well. As you may notice from the symbol on the left there... I'm going to be playing in survival mode, so I also have to try and find a way to keep myself fed and watered and whatnot. So, it's a bright new day, time to begin a brand new adventure, and that means, uh, yeah, I'm starting over truly from scratch here. So, no flipping weapons, uh, no flipping apparel, no flipping anything. The only thing I'm allowed is bobby pins, which I'm glad I flipping remembered, because if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be able to, you know open any safes, which would be a problem. So, okay, I'm allowed them. Everything else, we're leaving here. We are starting completely fresh, as in right down to being flipping naked. From now on, we're living off the land, or to be precise, the sea. And the fun thing is, the game does seem to be sort of, you know, anticipating you might do this. So literally in the very first body of water in the game, we're just gonna go down under here. There is, there we go. A sunken boat. Marvellous. And straight away we get ourselves... Uh, okay, we're still naked, but at least now we've actually got, you know, a gun. Tragedy of tragedies, though. Yeah, this pond isn't actually connected to uh, the rest of the bodies of water in the wasteland uh, via a river or anything. It is basically just uh, a pond with a bit of a tail on the end of it. So, okay, we need to go via land to actually get to, you know, water proper. But that's fine, because uh, there should be a pretty easy way we can go without running into too much in the way of trouble. Though we won't be looting on land, obviously. We're not some flipping land lubber, whatever one of those is precisely, but whatever it is, it's not me. So, uh, step one, just kind of, you know, go slowly around the, uh, the edge 
of the gas station so we don't get dog meat's attention. That's all absolutely fine. Then we just need to skirt round uh, to the edge of Concord, making sure, yeah, we keep distance between mole rats on the left and blood bugs on the right. This seems about right. You guys are, yep, they're just feasting on that carcass. I hit Concord, that's all absolutely fine. Now we just over on the left of Concord because we don't want any trouble with those raiders, all right? They can raid to their heart's content, not my problem. You know what, Preston? Just for once, sort your own damn problems out. We come over here right by the house where you can get the nice early game rifle, and instead we just start following the road out in this direction towards Glitch Quarry. When the opportunity presents itself, you're told by the stop sign, take a right here. Any further down this direction, we get a bit close to Bedford, then there's a good chance of ghouls. And I think we've actually got ourselves... Uh, yep, that's a good encounter right here. This can be nasty, this guy and girl, because that's a random encounter. But we've got lucky with uh, both the campsites so far. Generally, campsites are pretty safe, so that's fine. Follow this road, we should hit, uh, yeah, the Starlight Cinema on the right. Keep your distance, there's the screen right there, because obviously we don't want to be drawing the attention of any uh, mole rats whatsoever, but at this point, we're pretty much close by to the water that we can then stick in for the rest of this entire adventure. Okay, there is a bit of a ghoul down in that direction. I'm gonna be honest, there is, there is a ghoul here. Uh, we can probably just... Okay, we might need to take his legs out. That's that's all absolutely. Then again, he's he's gone down into crouched. Sneak around the back of zombie. There we go, flipping skills. You know, I've never been able to get a definite answer on whether agility fundamentally influences stealth or not. Like, some accounts I read say yes, some say it's purely sneak which is available through agility. I'm really unclear on that point, and uh, you're being attacked by mole rats, I don't care, that feels like a you problem, not a me problem. In fact, you know what, you just uh, keep it busy for me, that's fine, because I see over there, beautiful, beautiful water, let's book it. Yes, we have made it to the big blue wet thing, so, guns away, let's go for a flipping swim, and we begin straight away with a crashed vertebird, which is very, very nice indeed, though... I don't think this one's actually got anything in it. No, no it does not. But this is not going to be the only flipping vertebrate we see. There is power armor here, so we could help ourselves to some of that. But uh, honestly, you kind of don't need it. To be perfectly honest, that's absolutely fine. Though, I will say... No, I meant to... I meant to just take the fusion core, but whatever. I mean, the power armor will just slow me down a bit. So yes, I feel like that's, uh, that's not the right thing to do. Get out of that. Take the actual flipping, you know, fusion core. Yeah, I'll be having all of that, thank you. Not the parts, though. They're really bloody heavy. So, okay. At this point, may as well go to the surface just for a second. Yes, we are now on our flipping way. Because this here, this is the way to flipping travel, all right? You can actually get to a lot of really good places really fast. Like, there's Covenant right over there. Very nice, safe town. Good shop. All sorts of good stuff in that part of the world. Obviously, we're close by to Lexington and Corvega, so if you're doing the opening quest for the Minutemen, that'll bring you in that direction too. And yeah, if you get into trouble, just dive underwater, because there is not an enemy in this game that's got an underwater attack. So, melee enemies, there's nothing they can flipping do to you. And we're already getting close by to, yeah, Boston itself, because that over there is... That's Taffington Boathouse, so... Okay, that'll be... What building is that? I don't know, but I'm seeing a bunch of stuff starting to uh, fall into the water here. So collapsed highway, that might well be some good news for me. Not on this occasion, though, we do have the, uh, yeah, the memorial bridge. That, uh, this bridge explodes a lot, by the way. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to... Why did you just start floating? Okay, now I'm just suspicious of the fact you just started floating. Can I actually cause the bridge to detonate? So if I can just... Give them a bit of a boot. There's definitely mines here, but I've never tried this before. Can you detonate mines from below? No, magnificent. Well done, Bethesda. Oh yeah, we're definitely in Boston proper now. That's the back of bad TFL. So that's going to be... You're a raider, aren't you? Yeah, there's... Wait, are you actually... Are you a corpse or you are... Oh yeah, you're actually a raider. Right, just, just nip underwater for a second. I'm not invisible underwater. Not until, like, you know, Aqua Girl 2, but... For the time being, this seems to be... Uh, it's good enough to stop them panicking too much. Marvellous. You just stay over there, I'll stay over here. Because nobody really enjoys swimming in this game. So that's marvellous. So, uh, 
yeah, we've pretty much reached the, uh, the center of Boston at this point. That's kind of what I wanted to stress here. Like, it's kind of ridiculous how easy Aquagirl makes it to travel around Boston. Like, I think I've been attacked once by a Stingwing, to which I responded by going slightly underwater. And it went, well, touche, I see you have studied martial arts for many years, master. And then just sort of uh, flew off because it couldn't go underwater. Because basically nothing can go underwater. There's a boat here, by the way. No first aid box, though. Sometimes you do get first aid boxes in boats. Bit of a shame. Oh, and I'll tell you what, I think this counts. All right, I'm still in the water. There's a raider here that does actually, you know, have some flipping armor. Okay, I've got flipping clothes. Oh, you see, this could even flipping pass for diving gear. Slightly basic improvised diving gear, but it'll do the job. And here we go. We're pretty much as center of Boston as you can be right now. We've got the USS Constitution right there, which means if we were to turn in down this path, Yep, that's now going to take us uh, straight back into town, but the nice thing is, uh, I've barely been attacked, and at this point I'm pretty much close by to, uh, yeah, two bases. Like, straight away. So we got the Boston Airport, right there, which of course will become the Brotherhood base over time, and then uh, right on the other side of the water, you've got the old North Church, which is marvellous. Together with a couple of floating platforms, that's dirty water, which is... Uh, Slightly better than drinking out of the sea, but you know, only a little bit. I'll take some cans, by the way. Bit of recycling to do on the way past. Here we go, we can get close enough to the airport for the game to actually count it as found, and uh, yeah, this is part of the flooded district. So as far as I'm concerned, if it's flooded, it's legit. I'm allowed here. Alright, just... Guns out here, because, you know, survive mode. Red chest! Red flipping chest. Right, I will be having all of this, thank you. But here's where we want to be, really. Let's head up towards, yeah, Diamond City, because we can get close by to Diamond City. We can get close by to the CIT ruins. Uh, we've got, yeah, the airport we've literally just gone and got tagged. Uh, Old North Church is uh, right there. You can just swim between, like, all of the game's major locations, together with uh, big-ass boats. Everybody loves a big-ass boat. Right, lights on. There's got to be something here. There might well have been, but there's also raiders, so maybe we just get back, uh, back under the water as soon as possible. That's all fine. Oh, here we go. They've accidentally driven me towards a uh, Radaway. Now, that could be useful, given uh, I might need to... Oh, blimey. Oh, okay. I might have just come across a murder here as well, because I can't help but notice that there seems to be a, a skeleton in a cage. Right, um, possibly bad people owned this boat. Oh no, it was just a guy trying to take out a killer dolphin, so I'll be having his machete, and then probably best we get out of here before, you know, I keep being shot by raiders forever. Ah, yes, of course, and this brings us close by to the slightly mysterious floating glowing one who just sort of uh, lives here. So I'll be having your aluminium canister. Doesn't even seem to mind me taking it, absolutely marvellous. And I'm slowly getting thirsty, so... Okay. I guess we'll just very quickly drink out of the river. It seems pretty clean. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, and here's something I've never noticed before. Right, so one of the bridges that's a bit broken, someone converted the the underside of the bridge to, like, a little house where there was, uh, yeah, a nice sun lounger. There is some fishing gear. So they did a bit of, like, fishing in this part of the world. Okay. I'm not sure I've ever actually noticed this before. Hang on, we're nipping ashore because this here, this sort of counts as like, you know, an abandoned island or something. So, okay, this is, I think this is the next bridge along from, yeah, the next bridge along from where you would go up to get towards uh, Diamond City itself. So, okay, there's just a little cute base here with a fan, a precious, precious fan. Board games, uh, Bunch of sadly empty bottles. Uh, clearly there at some point there was uh, pets, family. Okay, well, somebody lived here. Oh, no, this is looking good. We got ourselves a semi-submerged building and also 10 million flipping rads. Okay, hang on, there's, there's a lot of rads and I'm also suffering from lethargy. Okay, hang on. Okay, I've got no rad eggs, but I do have a rad away. So that's, that's gonna have to do. And thank goodness I took that advanced lock picking. Right, in, out, nice and fast, please. You were trying to loot this, then you died of rads, and I'll be having all of this. Right, we'll check what we've... Oh, bloody hell, I'm I'm about to... What's attacking me? Everything's 
fine. Everything's okay. Aside from the fact it's not... Take out that bastard. Right, there were Milo catchlings. Get away. Start dropping useless things. I'm massively overweight. Right, go. Swim. I've done one of my only two radaways. Alright, that, um... That was a bit of a dicey one. I probably shouldn't have done that, to be honest. But, I'm sure everything's fine. Because, yeah, now my chance of getting sick is uh, even higher because of suppressed immunity off the rat away. That's, uh, that's gonna be fun. Everything's under control. It's fine. We've got some good stuff here. In fact, we really need to find somewhere to, like, you know, sell it. And I'm also getting really hungry. Okay, that's something we can sort out. I mean, I say that, um, we're kind of at the end of the river because I can't swim up a dam because that's not how dams work, so... Okay, we might need to go back for that. Oh, I don't want to go back for those Milo catchlings, but they might be the only food I find for a while. Oh, here's nice. On the way back up the river, I found another safe that's just sitting in a boat. This is, yes, right outside the, uh, the amphitheater. So we'll just be helping ourselves to all of this, apart from the useless pistol. Okay, so uh, we're swimming in ammo, which is great. I was sort of hoping more fishing boats would have, like, you know, a... Uh, food in them so I could eat the food to not die. So far, not so much. So, okay, I'm going to need to be a deep sea diver and trader, which makes sense, you see. No man is an island, so we're gonna take the stuff we found and, uh, yeah, the closest settlement to, you know, water is gonna be Bunker Hill. So we're gonna go to Bunker Hill and we're gonna trade for food. Yep, straight out here, straight up to town. Hello? Yes, my dreams of being a deep sea treasure hunter. It's been, it's been not as easy as I was hoping for. Um, neither, I'm, I'm just, oh. Okay, I can understand how you'd assume I was a raider, yes. All right, cleared out my stuff at the doctor. So I'm up to 250 on caps. And I'll trade that for all the usable meat he's got. And I know I could just help myself to potatoes and corn and whatever, but I am not a farmer, okay? I'm a sunken treasure excavation specialist. Unlike Deacon, who is a spy, but is currently disguised as a caravan worker. This is one of many places where you just sort of run into him earlier in the game. It's marvellous. Right, time to get back to the water, I suppose. Okay, I just went back to town in order to just, you know, sit at the top of that tower for seven hours in order to make time pass. Old man Stocks has decided to start firing at me. So, okay, we, um, we can't come back here anymore. I've done something to annoy the locals and I'm not sure what it is. I've literally just discovered there was a sleeping bag, like, right here in this little boat. So, I didn't need to. There was also... Right! Okay, well... That was all a waste of time. I've literally just found a boat that lets me sleep and has food in it. So, well, that's just marvellous. Okay, well, we're going to have a nap in this absolutely filthy, soaking wet sleeping bag. Marvellous. Well, doesn't get me much in the way of rest, because yes, it's a sleeping bag. But at least one, it's light. And two, I've finally got a bloody save down in case, you know, anyone else decides to just murder me. Alright, so, we've discovered a good place to grab a bit of sleep for the, you know, enthusiastic diver. But now, now we're leaving the river and heading out into open water, and that's where the interesting stuff starts showing up. Well, one convenient abandoned boat gives us some first aid at least, including, yeah, water that's not going to kill me. Safe as experts, unfortunately. But of course, yes, this brings us very close by too. A little dive underwater. Would you believe uh, there's a massive ass submarine right here? So yes, that's nice and easy to get to. Marvellous. That immediately begins uh, here be monsters. So uh, yeah, there's a kid pictured in the uh, the image. Didn't bother actually going to see him. Just found the submarine by myself. I'm that awesome. The captain is super chill with visitors, by the way. He's just perfectly fine with you coming in and helping yourself to literally everything he owns. And no, no, no. I'll just be a... Uh, I'm honestly not here to help. I'm just here to rob you. Oh, now this is some good looting. I'd forgotten about this place. But yeah, this is 100% legit for, you know, sunken treasure. It's treasure. It's underwater. It technically belongs to, like, you know, somebody else, but whatever. Precious rad away, an awesome sword. And on top of that, an actual flipping bed. No clothes, though. Wouldn't mind some better clothes than what I'm wearing. Because, yeah, I think old man Stockton might have just got the, um, the wrong impression somehow. 
Okay, I am fed, watered, well rested. Good luck with like whatever it is you're getting on with right now, but I've got my own problems. You know, I was just making my way to Spectacle Island, but we are passing literally by the castle. And the castle comes uh, pre-set up with a water purifier. Any chance I could take water? No, I cannot take water straight out of that. Boo, I say. Alright, and now we're getting into the more, you know, obscure, out-of-the-way stuff. So, uh, fair way away from the castle. We got ourselves uh, a floating platform here. In fact, okay, we've got crops. Like, I'm conceptually aware some of this stuff is here, but... I've never really bothered going to look at it before, so... Okay, this seems legit. And abandoned too. Okay, somebody tried to set up a farming community. Except they tried to do it, you know, directly above seawater. So I can see why this wouldn't have worked out for them particularly well. Still, good attempt, I suppose. And I'll be having your office fan too. And another abandoned building out in the middle of nowhere here. Some form of power structure, I'm not sure. Get myself to a handful of uh, basics here. Still seems to be partly active. There's like a crackling noise coming from it. So, okay. And here we go. Fallout 4 often sort of, yeah, indicates roughly where its uh, treasures are located. Just by having a tiny bit of them exposed over the water. So, alright. Head down underwater. And, uh, basic first aid box. Nothing too dramatic, but I shan't say no. Not least as it brings me in the direction of something else. And you, I suspect, I do know what you might be. I've come across you once before, during my original No Guns run, if I recall correctly. And, uh, no, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, we got ourselves a proper bed if I needed to rest out here. Another box of things as well, so just another floating platform, another person who tried to make a go of it. This one decided against, like, uh, having access to any food, so, uh, yeah, not too surprised that's how it ended. Cute touch, though. This place is actually, yeah, not, uh, not as little as it looks. The rest of it sunk, so this used to be uh, a barge with uh, multiple different uh, platforms. It's just the rear one sank, so possibly... The rest of the supplies this guy was using to survive uh, went down with the barge. In fact, that's entirely what happened. Just keep going down further and further and further. And yeah, the presumably uh, fourth and final barge, uh, that one's actually located uh, even deeper than those two up above. So uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of containers here. I'm guessing uh, you're relying on these to survive, my friend. So yeah, losing them, not good. Okay, no trip to Spectacle Under would be complete without, you know, grabbing the luck bobblehead while I'm just here. But yeah, there's an exact point you could be in the water, there you go, where you could just about see some outlines. And that tells me there's something down in that direction beyond this little boat here. This one is... Okay, this guy brought a radio with him. Probably a good idea, yes. Convert the shipping container into farming. Very, very clever indeed. Because then, yeah, not exposed to salt water. Okay, this guy. This guy had the right idea. Right, now use the exact position in the water I need to be here. And yeah, if I can just line this up. Just get you to right where you need to be. Right, if I just now go in a straight line. Perfectly straight. I should hit the top of something. Yep, good sized ship, standard layout with your three decks. No major loot, but of interest, a rope going upwards. So, alright, follow that. What, my friend, were you pinned to, precisely? And, okay, you were pinned to the outside of yet another tiny settlement. And I've not been to this one before, because yes, I haven't actually, you know, been picking any of this nonsense. And, uh, okay, one guy. Ooh, laundered dead in dress. Right, so for once I might not look like a raider. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I still look a bit like a raider. Okay, but I'm learning the lessons here. What this seems to mean is, yes, if you see one of these big boats that's got, you know, a winch set up, then that means, typically, go down from that, you find something. 
because uh, these are pre-war boats. They were here for a reason, and, uh... Okay, hang on. You're not just a boat. You've got yourself a big old, uh, Big old barge here, including... Uh, aha! Okay, I think I know what we're looking at here. Because this here don't look like a boat to me. Oh, I thought not. Right, we've got ourselves a crashed plane. So yeah, this is uh, south of uh, Spectacle Island. Very close to the corner of the map. Underneath one of these uh, lovely, lovely rescue boats. So uh, they were trying to uh, recover the aeroplane, presumably, to investigate what brought her down. Also, there's a globe right there, which I love, because I think the pilots needed that to, you know, figure out where it was they were supposed to be going. Well, it's not a mystery we can solve, because unfortunately, yes, the only item here is one extinguisher, so I can be very confident the cockpit didn't catch fire, or like, if it did, then they would have been very capable of putting it out, so that's probably not what brought down the plane. And while I'm passing Spectacle Island, well, I'm not going to turn down, you know, the boat that I know's got something good in it. Including a fat man if I wanted it, but to be honest, I feel like I'm probably, uh, probably lacking in, uh, carry capacity at this exact moment in time. Right, grab the luck bobblehead, and then maybe, you know, swim the flip away before anything eats me. Right, we're heading north, activate ocean scanning mode. Right, familiar sight here. One boat, yes, chained to something else. Right, get to the rope, follow it down. You know, I never realised before today, Fallout 4 had an entire system of, you know, flagging to players where to find the coolest underwater stuff, where almost all of them have, like, you know, other boats over the top that were already trying to scavenge the area. And this here is a big one. This is a massive boat, and stay away from the rat barrels, mind. Uh, can't see an actual... Uh, interior but yeah this was a massive cargo ship here we go long way in this direction this is maybe the biggest boat other than the azalea ah now this is the boat i was expecting to see earlier the one that was trying to yes uh pull up or otherwise interact with uh, the massive freighter down at the bottom of the ocean because yeah they actually use this uh, location in the frost mod which i did a full playthrough of so yes this boat was uh, presumably engaged in uh, illegal salvage because the police were very much not amused with this operation going on here. Aha! We're a fair bit further north in the ocean very close by to Libertalia and yes, we've uh, we've come across one of this game's, well I don't know if mystery is the right term, but uh, yes, this boat at the bottom of the ocean has, uh, well either it was, you know, laying additional cables or pipes or whatever, or while sinking, it sort of accidentally took a pipe out. Because, okay, the oceans of Fallout 4 are full of these red pipes. This is a long-standing mystery. I cannot explain it to you. There are just pipes here. There is no reason for the pipes. Possibly, they're just carrying, you know, cables, oil, whatever goes in pipes, I'm not sure. Maybe they're just set dressing, but, uh, yeah. There's all these pipes, sometimes they're broken, sometimes they're still solid, and uh, they don't do anything. We've never found anything that they actually do. Now I assume this boat was, uh, yeah, this boat just, hang on. No, 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 no. This boat can't have sunk and take out this pipe, otherwise uh, the pipe would be, you know, under the boat. Suggesting this boat was, hang on, this boat couldn't have been, well, unless it sank while it was, you know, delivering pipes that were supposed to be... Okay, I'm guessing the story is that the boat sank and took out the pipe, but if so, the pipe's not in the right place, so tut tut Bethesda, very sloppy. Alright, further north again, we're approaching Kingsport Lighthouse here. We got ourselves, once again, clear sign of something, and, uh... Oh, we got another big lad! We got another big one of them flipping carrier thingies. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let's just check what's going on over here, because, uh... For some reason, this little raft has got a matching flag on it. So, okay, was this, you know, post-war improvised scavenging or something? Or possibly, you just literally stole a flag from over there. Oh, flip me, three antibiotics? Well, that's just wow! Okay, that is the best antibiotics haul I have ever seen, that is amazing! 
Alright, so directly underneath, yeah, the bit that's sticking up, we have got ourselves uh, the actual, you know, go inside bit of the ship. Once again, nothing too dramatic here. Ah, but unlike a great many ships, yeah, these guys have actually got a proper interior. You can actually get in the, uh, the cargo hold. There was actually a proper little, yeah, cargo hold that's now fallen open, allowing you access to uh, the area down below. Okay, hang on, we need to take a better look at this thing, but yes, unfortunately, because I'm in survival mode, I don't have access to the console, so I can't just, like, you know, turn off water. However, you can do one thing, which is, yes, there are actually mattresses right here. So if I just drop a save right now, I could turn off survival mode, but that doesn't actually turn off survival mode on this file permanently, it just creates a branching path. So at that point, I could continue in survival mode from uh, this point, but have another universe where I can look at things in not survival mode. So, okay, that's what we're doing, because we need to have a look see at this old girl. Ah, that's more flipping like it with the beautiful toggle water system command. We can actually have a proper look at this massive sunk ship. So, uh, okay, she's flipping gorgeous. And while we're in the terrifying weird world of not survival, it feels weird not to be playing survival. I've kind of just accepted survival as the way, you know, Fallout 4 is supposed to be played. Yes, these are the pipes, which now I've turned this mode on. Yes, I can now see actually do seem to flow to a big tank on top of the, you know, ocean studying place, which is interesting. All right, these people have a hell of a lot of funding. If they can afford to just maintain a massive great network of pipes just to, you know, analyze seawater, good for them. But none of that, thank you. Back to the proper universe where I have to, you know, somehow survive off a completely dead, bloody, lifeless ocean. Well, fortunately, some people on the coast here have been trying to make a go of, you know, sea-based agriculture. So, uh, I mean, it didn't work. They all died. But at the bare minimum, at least I get myself a little bit of fruit out of all of that. And, uh, okay, literally just around the corner from uh, one of that nonsense, we have got ourselves... Okay... Interesting. We've got a big ship that crashed, little ship that came to, like, you know, say hello, trying to help or something. But then, on top of that, there was actually a little settlement built on this tiny island out in the middle of nowhere. Alarm clock, lamp, a few basic bits and pieces, nothing dramatic. But what's... what's going on here, precisely? Well, he died, because everyone in Fallout dies, and just get up to the top here. Right, so we got ourselves a woman in wheelchair. Right, possibly the end of the world happened while well, they were coming to investigate a crash ship, and uh, in general, didn't end well for uh, for anybody. So, okay, this might be... Uh, this could be the, uh, the life raft from that boat. Hang on. Yep, seems like the best bet we have got, but they managed to... They managed to not make it back to land. There's even a flipping lighthouse, you useless bastards. Right, hang on the flip here. Yep, boat capsized here, so a bit more of a uh, dramatic sinking than we sometimes get. And, uh, from the rads, uh, right, the old let's dump nuclear waste in the ocean gambe. Got it, seeing that one a lot recently. In fact, yeah, not sure if this is a quite subtle joke, but um, this lighthouse seems to be not doing its job particularly well because uh, yeah there's like ship after ship after ship who's crashed into uh, some rocks and uh, by the lighthouse on the dock presumably that you know the lighthouse keeper himself owns uh, there's a ship a salvage ship i wonder if you're supposed to kind of you know read into that that there was a bit of a con going oh blimey heck sorry that belongs to the children of atom Whew. Okay, just got a little bit jump scared there. Sorry, wasn't expecting company. It's been a very quiet, lovely little trip so far. I've been having a lovely time just exploring the ocean. Then I got shot by a flipping radiation gun. Bloody hell. Chill out, mate. Chill the flip out. All right? I don't want any trouble. Right, I think they've lost interest and I'm out of effective range. So, uh, yeah, there's just boat after boat after boat that crashed into these rocks because uh, the lighthouse keeper was doing a very, very bad job. And some people post-apocalypse seem to have tried to convert all of this, yeah, leftover metal and whatever into something useful, like little shacks and whatever. Though, doesn't look like they did the, the best job, all things considered. 
Oh, but here's fun. Okay, we've got ourselves a wrecked plane up in this direction, though. Ah, I was about to say, is this the tail of the massive plane we saw down south? But, uh, no, this is a little self-contained bomber by the looks of it, which somebody decided to, uh, live literally directly under. I mean, ballsy. Ballsy right there. I didn't know there was so much stuff on these tiny islands, by the way. There's a whole little bunch of them, a whole bunch of tiny islands, like very close to uh, Salem and that sort of area. I had no idea there was actually a whole bunch of, like, stuff out here on all of them. I thought they were just, you know, rocks. And fascinatingly, the largest island on the actual map, just off this bit of the coast at least, is actually out of bounds. There's, there's clearly stuff there, like, you know, a handful of crates and whatnot, but... Literally no way to get there. Well, that's all the interesting stuff I can find dotted about the oceans of the base game. Uh, however, I can't help but note there's an entire DLC that's nothing but an island. You know, an area completely surrounded by water. I mean, look at that boat over there. That boat's even lit up. That boat wants me to rob it. Right, I'm sure you've got a lovely town, but I'm not actually here for you, so basically, uh, bye. Oh, now this looks much better already. I mean, just look at this. We've got ourselves houses. We've got a band of boats as far as the eye could see. There's like five of them. Oh, this is, this is flipping paradise. And straight away, they've actually got stuff in them. And gnomes, highly important gnomes. And they're in really nice condition too. There's some lovely boats just sitting here. Abandoned island houses, that's 100% legit too. And flipping food. Whoever was here and then, you know, died, they must have been looting the, uh, the shops up top because that's a whole bunch of free food. Okay, this is, this is much better. Also, I can't help but notice, I haven't actually taken a rad yet, which would suggest that the fog that, you know, infests this island uh, might not actually extend out onto the sea. Meaning, uh, yeah, moving around rad free in Far Harbour could be... Uh, way, way more efficient and way easier in rad terms uh, if you just, you know, stick out on the water. Okay, we're learning useful stuff here. This could be very, very useful in YOLO. And even better, the water is so damn shallow. So yes, it's much easier to search. Yep, just out of interest, I've started to uh, swim out a little bit away from shore. There is not a single bit of fog out on the ocean. As long as you're far enough away from land, it's it's completely safe. This, this is how we're going to navigate Far Harbour during You Only Live Once. Okay, we're coming up on, what's it called? The ship here now. Uh, this is, uh, this is very important because uh, there's a very crucial item I need here. I need to sneak underwater in order to sneak up on this barge to get it. Okay, just get right up to the barge because... Uh, I am a treasure hunter, which means uh, there's something I need. Something crucial. Absolutely crucial. It sounds like someone's actually already just, just, just chill out, chill out, and pirate hat, go, grab, get underwater, boom! Got away with it. I've got the flipping pirate hat. Admittedly, it means I'm not wearing diving gear anymore, but it does mean I am a pirate, so I'll take it. And I shan't say no to some sneak either, just for those odd moments when, you know, I have to briefly go on land to steal pirate hats. And there we go. We have officially managed to sneak past the Azalea. And I am now officially a pirate. Alright, now I have got all my credentials in check. Now, tragically, I know what you're thinking, because it was my first thought too. But no... You can't. You cannot go and pick up the various bits of uh, marine armor that are buried around Far Harbor. They simply don't exist until you've discovered Dima's memory that lets you know about their existence. So, uh, no, that, uh, that's just not a thing. Sorry. Okay, slim picking so far, I'll admit. But close by to, yeah, the Raider Lighthouse, I have actually found something, finally, that fully fits the brief. Now this, this is 100% undeniably sunken treasure. It comes in a treasure chest, it is sunken, completely submerged, and now it is mine. Okay, this is beautiful. 
Okay, here's a bit of an odd one. I was just passing by as usual, you know, looking for the tops of boats and whatnot, and uh, we've got a whole bunch of mannequins and a skeleton attached to... Okay, what have we got going on here precisely? Well, one, I've got a new Coca-Cola, which I'm doing right the flip now, because yes, caffeination, that's going to stop me being, you know, so damn exhausted all the time. And uh, we have got ourselves... Uh, hang on, what are we looking at down here? Why was this boat full of mannequins? Well, that's... that's horrifying. Okay, this is the, um... This is the mannequin boat, then. There's just... There's just mannequins here. There's just mannequins and also huge amounts of- Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. Huge amounts of nuke cola. Okay, the mannequins could be as creepy as they bloody well want because I've got nuke cola and that's all I need to avoid, you know, having to damn sleep. Right, whiskey, skeletons. Got ourselves a handful of even more antibiotics. Lovely and- uh, Ah, okay, the mannequins of- have come to life and and murdered this guy. Which also happens in the base game in, what is it, the um, the Concord Speakeasy. And you, my friend, uh, you were trying to take a picture, but you were murdered for it. Right, they, they didn't want their secret getting out. I see. Right, so, you know what? I think that, that's enough fallout for today. I'm just gonna, just gonna take this board so you don't actually murder anyone else, specifically me, and then I'm gonna leave you alone. Your secret's safe with me, please don't follow me. When I started this adventure, I'll admit, I was hoping for more treasure chests and less washed up corpses, because just taking, you know, money and food off the dead, it's not quite got, you know, the sexy adventure drama of being a pirate in many ways. In fact, that would appear to be pretty much all Far Harbour has to offer beneath the waves. At least until, you know, you do Demon's Memories, then you can actually get proper marine armour. But, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, uh, get there or do that. So, what have we learnt here today, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, one, in the post-apocalypse, being a sunken treasure hunter, not a viable career. Yeah, the junk I've got is, you know... Fine, but it's not spectacular. It's definitely not better than uh, what I could have got from uh, from elsewhere. The money's nice, though. I've made good money from looting corpses. That's been the high point. Revelation number two, I look damn good as a pirate. I mean, just look at that. Good hat, good outfit, good armor, and a sword. Thanks for that, Zhao. Oh, yeah. That's some good sword swinging. Absolutely spectacular right there. Flippin' love it. But number three, most importantly, yes, this has proven to be very useful for you only live once planning. Because uh, as it turns out, there's just, there's no radioactive fog around the outskirts of the island. And you can get everywhere by just going around the outskirts of the island. Because it's an island, that's how it works. And it's even got a big inlet right here. So uh, yeah, you can get pretty much anywhere underwater. This is... Uh, Okay, this has been a fascinating discovery. Still, it has been nice to see what mysteries hang about under the waves. A couple of crashed planes, a handful of massive cargo ships, and yes, one terrifying revelation that, as it turns out, the mannequins are coming for us, and they're going to kill anybody who dares reveal their secret. So, okay, I imagine Captain John will be murdered in her sleep, by a mannequin in a matter of days. So uh, this is the end for Captain John. We shall not see her again. And everyone will be very confused as to how exactly she was murdered in a room locked from the inside where there was nothing in there but her and 16 mannequins. Coming up next week, ladies and gentlemen, part two of Fallout 4 is better than you think. Sorry, just needed a tiny bit more time to work on that. And then... Then it begins, ladies and gentlemen, in two weeks' time, Fallout 4, you only live once. It is kicking off in two weeks' time, so hopefully you are looking forward to that, because every time I play this game, I discover something new, so uh, bloody hell, what are we going to do there? I still don't know. The build is still in question. There are still some things I need to figure out, because uh, there's so many ways uh, that could go. It's going to be flipping fascinating. So, some big stuff coming up over the next two Sundays, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime... I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 4 with The Great Sunken Treasure Hunt. Thank you very much, and goodbye.
Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.